Hi everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this evening update. I hope that you have been enjoying your Monday. So we're going to be looking at the latest expected of the system. And as we can immediately see just from looking at this uh, graphic here from the National Hurricane Center, that curve is now being depicted. So NHC was not showing it up until this morning when it is now showing that anticipated curve. However, models such as the Euro, the Canadian and the Icon continue to trend the system further west into the Caribbean weaker system, maybe a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. And Euro, for example, not expecting that we will have something very organized. We're going to be taking a look at the latest uh, based on what models are showing. We'll be looking at what's happening across the Caribbean. There is a front that is moving through and that is helping to enhance the weather for some areas. We'll be looking at that as well. So let's get straight into it, kickstarting things with the satellite imagery. So there we can see that disorganized disturbance 94L and uh, also the chance has increased. We'll go back to what the National Hurricane Center has to show in a moment. And behind that area of low pressure is a tropical wave, the axis of a tropical wave propagating west. Now all that, uh, that little area we see of some activity to the east of the Leeward Islands is in association with whatever is left of Sean. So that is moving uh, to the west, not expected to be a bother for anyone or bring any significant impacts but let's zoom into the vicinity of the Caribbean and see what is happening here so we are taking a look first at northern South America and there we can see that there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity developing across some areas as forecast this morning some areas may even be experiencing some periods of very heavy rainfall as a result of all this activity especially over into Panama a lot of thunderstorms developing over there you can let me know what's been happening for you but as we head to the Guyanas as I said this morning a whole lot wasn't expected there is some thunderstorm activity developing so for some areas the weather might be a bit stormy but that's not the case for uh most areas so many of us have been experiencing the heat uh the dry conditions that persistent sunshine throughout the day without any substantial activity to cool off the afternoon head into the vicinity of aruba curacao but near the abc islands right there we're not seeing much happening either uh thunderstorms near trinidad earlier nothing crazy bit of activity moving through here and there for the lesser antilles but on a whole there isn't anything substantial across the area now there is a front coupled with a trough a surface trough ahead of that front helping to enhance the weather across sections of the northern caribbean so there we can see all those clouds moving down from the gulf of mexico and there's also a lot of cool dry air associated with it so that frontal boundary extends into the Caribbean and that front uh, and that trough as I said is ahead of it so that's helping to enhance the rainfall for some areas as we can see for Jamaica going to Cuba even near the Bahamas as well for some areas not persistently though uh, going over into Hispaniola and even for Puerto Rico earlier there was a brief thunderstorm but nothing much happening for those areas let's look at the surface charts here and mark out these features so there we have that front that's a blue line with those triangles that is representative of that cold front that orange broken line is that surface trough and behind that boundary as i said cool dry air so temperatures are lower for some areas the yucatan headed to parts of western cuba florida the northern bahamas there's that low pressure area that remnant of sean which should eventually open up into a trough and then there's that low pressure associated with 94l and that tropical wave propagate into the west behind it there's that high pressure as well this is the steering factor for 94l so let's go ahead and talk more about the disturbance here it is we're seeing this high 80 percent chance of development so if you recall the chance actually decreased down to 70 percent uh, and in my morning update of course that was with data from the 2 a.m update it was at 70 and 20 percent 20 uh, 20 percent through 48 hours and now it is back up so the chance is increasing yet again so it might have that window of opportunity to get itself together maybe becoming a tropical depression potentially a tropical storm acquired the name uh, Tammy so Tammy is the next name to be used and uh, it could be a problem for the Caribbean but as I said some models definitely want to take the system in others such as GFS want to keep it out we'll be looking at some data very soon in that regard so that chant has been on a roller coaster but for the most part it is going back up so we may have a tropical depression potentially a tropical storm coming out of the system so let's go on to some model data after which we'll look at conditions out there we know that the waters are 
are very warm so we're going to be focusing on that shear and glance at the dryer map as well so we're looking at the track guidance now so here we can see that models are definitely taking the system very very close some of these want to bring it into the northeastern islands the leeward islands and as such that is why i have been stressing that persons in these areas should be keeping watch through the week because we're bound to see some more shifts and adjustments with the tracks and uh, we're even seeing a lot of uncertainty down the road right now so a weaker system would trend toward the west further west into the caribbean and if it is the case that the system tries to rapidly get itself together then we will see something a bit similar to what gfs has been anticipating with the system making its way out curving before getting a chance to be very close to the islands and then that would limit any impacts at all there is some uncertainty as i said down the road let's head on to the intensity guidance and here we have it so in that green shading that is representative of tropical storm force winds in that yellow shading that's for cat one hurricane orange is cat two red is cat three purple cat four and uh, if you're hearing some noise in the background that is actually uh the rain coming down in my area so we're getting some well-needed showers here there was some thunderstorm activity earlier for me as well but uh, looking at this map here we can see that uh, models are now expecting that this will become a hurricane so they're kind of all over the place with the intensity of the system as i said there is some uncertainty down the road but i do not expect it to rapidly intensify that is one thing that i'm not counting on the system hasn't been doing too good thus far let's see if it'll make a comeback or just continue to struggle out there and be as what the euro model is expecting speaking of let's now go ahead and take a look at some ensemble data so as for the canadian ensembles here we can see that uh, we've got all these different tracks that black line is the mean or the average of these smaller ones so that mean track takes the system into the northeastern caribbean affecting the lesser antilles mostly the leeward islands maybe going up to the virgin islands and potentially puerto rico as well and the model is also showing that pressure of around a thousand two millibars maybe a bit lower than that within this area here so maybe a tropical storm affecting the islands so that is what the canadian model is expecting as we head on to the gfs tracks we can see that that black line that main track remains outside the region paralleling the leeward islands and so these more colorful tracks represent a stronger system while we're seeing these lighter blue shades they're representing something weaker so take a look at this for the most part these tracks which represent a weaker system head into the caribbean so a weaker system as i said will trend more toward the west it'll take a more westward route headed into the caribbean and then looking at the euro ensemble tracks this is very interesting majority of the tracks are showing the system entering the caribbean maybe as an unorganized system or as a weak tropical depression or storm so the majority of your ensembles expecting that the system will enter and euro on a whole has been very consistent about that weak system headed toward the west before making that curve out so uh, that is a pretty decent possibility and as i've highlighted in this morning's update uh, i know that some areas are in need of all that rainfall but we do not want a whole lot of rain and the system will have the potential of unleashing that heavy rainfall which may trigger those dangerous conditions the flooding the landslides mudslides so uh that is going to be a concern if this westward trend continues and it looks as though it will as we look at conditions headed to this wind shear map those red lines indicate unfavorable shear the system is right there and there you can see the white outline of the caribbean islands south america so the system is right within that region the shear isn't too bad now so let's see how it is going to take advantage of these conducive conditions going on to that dry air map not a whole lot of dry air being a problem for it either so uh, it has not been doing well as i've said earlier but we'll see how it progresses as we head throughout this week as it heads closer and closer to the caribbean but based on the looks of it this could be a problem for the islands and so guys i'll be keeping you posted on it as time goes by and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update so i hope you found it to be quite informative and if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and remember to always be otherwise.